Kick It Off Metroidvania Mystopia Elden Ring Precursor Part 2. It's not really the precursor to Elden Ring, but... We're pre-gaming. We're pre-gaming the greatest action-adventure RPG story cinematic experience of our lifetime by <laughs> playing this pixel art uh, magnum opus, Mystopia. True roguelike in mapteric fashion. And... Uh, uh, we're venturing from the village back into the caves to collect whatever <laughs> emerald kidney stones are falling out of these enemies that really haven't uh, done anything wrong to us, but that seems to be the modus operandi in all these games. You know, get angry at the cave creatures and then uh, kill them all. <laughs> Just some uh, pixel art genocide. Pretty run-of-the-mill affair that we've been doing for the last 25 years. So let me see if I can recall. Since the first video was literally two seconds ago. Exploring in the cave, spelunking down. And, uh... Adventuring, what will the darkness bring? Now I'm actually checking the map like it's semi-useful. So... I got my, uh... Spiderweb block in my path. That's how you know it's a Metroidvania. You gotta unlock. You gotta unlock all the abilities to clear new new uh, areas and new rooms. Cause cause look at how look at how uh, complicated the level design and the terrain design was before. Straight left. Blasphemous. Eat your heart out. What was down there? I couldn't go down. I don't know. Maybe there was nothing. Mm, so spiderwebs. All right. Let's head back to the right. Allow me to reintroduce myself to these cave dwellers. I'm, I'm priming up for my uh, my combat stance. My traditional... Uh, uh, run in the middle. Ow! Damn it! Spacing! Now, how in the world is that going to happen? How am I going to let that happen? Sometimes this guy... Uh, the controls are swift, but he's a little, he's a little, got a little starch in his, uh, in his slacks. He's a little stiff. No, not that. All right, let's go down. This, this pixel art, it's, um, the color scheme is kind of starting to wear on my eyeballs. I sort of have already seen it and I'm not taking it too seriously. Let me see if I can trap him. Yeah, see, these guys, you got to trick them. They're crafty. They're fast and loose, not to be underestimated. Just like these uh, rock dwellers who can camouflage themselves into the, into the background crystal. This is like a new thing in a, in a combat development space where it's like, no, come down here so I can fight you. Oh my god. They make these enemies and I can't tell whether or not... They're uh, part of the foreground or the background. And I want them just... They don't even attack. I just walk straight into them. So progressive. Walking into... Uh, walking into enemies deals damage. Uncle Smith, what are you doing here? Some weird creatures trapped me here. I'll say that. Uh, but then again, you're a talking mouse with a beer gut. So who are you calling a weird creature? Can I get out of here on your own? Oh, yeah, of course. I was just waiting for you to come find me. It's like a little game I play. I was looking for a source of the creature's disease. Well, they got Baja Mountain Dew spitting out um, uh, kidney stones. Come see me when you're in the village. Come see you when I'm in the village. I mean, I got—I was just there. We can teleport our way out of here. I'll give you a bow and some arrows, of course. Oh, oh of course. Well, what good is a bow without arrows? He turns into a, a meteorite and then flies into the ground further, further subterranean. Damn it. Oh, my God. Fucking Christ, dude. Yeah, it just, like, moves him forward. This game is so tight. Ow! I jumped! I jumped! I can hear through the headset. I'm clicking the button twice. All right, well, come see him for the uh, the bow. Come see him in the village for the bow. Speedrun, dude. Have you found the bow? No, where is it? Oh, kids are playing with it. It must be somewhere. Square to use the bow. What's he have to say now? Have you found the bow? Yeah, good for you. 
Finding green stones, bring them here. I'll try and make you some upgrades. I brought some stones. Well, let me see. I need more stones for an upgrade. More than 169? Really? Oh, I don't have that many arrows. Can I aim it? No. Nope. Uh, what do you have to say? Our fountain in the water. What about um? this other guy? Anything else? Amazing. Thanks for saving villagers. Have you found something out? They might be useful. I'm still examining. When I discover something, you'll be the first to know. So nothing's really going on in this village other than I'm diving into these caves, rescuing people, rescue rangers down under. Um, do you remember that game from the little uh, your third grade classroom, the rescue rangers, where you gotta fucking type on the type the spelling words correctly, huh? Third grade adventures, fourth grade adventures. Anyway, because what I'm saying is I remember that good time, <laughs> good times. But uh, the 90s had this weird air of everything feeling fake. And lo and behold. So where in the hell was I? In the realm. Alright, let's go back to where I rescued that dude. Um, here? Yeah, here. Don't run into the enemies on the ground. So now I got a bow. Alright. Now I got a bow. Ow! Ow! Nothing. He does nothing. My sword my sword does more. Alright. Okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. There we go. Swift. Swift, assured. Finite. Yeah, this color scheme is sort of starting to That's why Spelunky puts you in new environments. So I can um you know, refresh my eyes with a with a new color scheme. A dead end? Well, maybe there's something decent in here. Like a heart. There you go, perfect. Not even a not even a real secret though. Okay, that's it, that's it. Back I go. This song could use a refresh too. That was another thing. Spelunky's got some of the best music ever. Basically on every version. Nice turnaround, dude. <sighs> he screams and cries out in pain. That's a little bit morbid. Damn it, I knew! Oh my god. I jumped! Some Sometimes this guy... I don't get what it is. How come he doesn't want to do what I tell him? No! Oh my god. Ugh, Spelunky. Spelunky. Okay. Take two. Refresh your mind. Refresh your mind. Refresh your eyes. Take a big breathe in and a breathe out. Damn it, son of a fucking bitch, dude. At least you got infinite continues. On a quest to collect kidney stones so your family can do research oh yeah we just volunteered going in this cave we love it here let me go uh, let me take my own advice and go left first I want to get that torch so that I can uh, beat the um I feel like I've been here before I've seen this screen before am I nuts that's where the um the cobweb is that's where the cobweb is I need the fire web burner with the spider to clear it out item. Scientific name. He fell down? No, don't go down. Don't go down. I like that when you jump up, it puts you on a ledge. Pretty uh convenient. What do they call that? Quality of life. All the nerds on the forums have so many... Uh, Terms for what they wish that the games would do. Why don't you make a fucking game? Secret. It's not so secret if I know I'm going to get a fountain piece here. Yeah, he knew what, he knew what was in, he was in for. He come down here. It's more of that, huh? I 
can't believe that that 200 200 kidney stones are not enough to do research got that uh, deep rock philosophy don't mess with these dudes why are all these bounce pads here if there's if there's nothing up top other than bats that are gonna attack you? Just to, just to fuck you up and push you into them. Oh yeah, I have a bow. Every time games like this give me an ability, um, I I frequently forget because the only thing I can recall is just like the most basic movement and, and attacking. Becoming a master of the most basic uh, starting game equipment, and then it's like, oh yeah, I have all these abilities. I have all these abilities that they gave me. You can't fire in the air, it seems. Yeah, no bow in the air. Well, I don't know if it's worthless, but it's not so great. Move forward and hit him. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Damn it! They barely take hits done. They barely take hits done. What is the purpose of a room like this? Walk forward. Look, this is a dead end. Alright. Going down. No, there's a bat. Avoid that bat. Count Chocula. He wasn't a bat, he was a vampire. This game is good, but I need to know, you can knock down lamps with your sword. You're going to explain this to me now? I've been doing that since uh, minute one. And what purpose is it? Maybe that's the real hidden game, knock all the lamps down. But they respawn. This game needs um, a, a change of scenery. It needs it needs a boss. It needs new levels, a new song, a new boss. Um, even the enemies are pretty functional. It needs more. It needs more. So the cobwebs, huh? And I can't get there. Can he get there? He can come through. Can I fall? The fire can burn the cobwebs. Yeah, but I don't... Did you just see that? My arrow goes through the fire? Whoa! Can I fall down? No, though. And so now I know how to get through there. Wow, wow, we well. You cannot, wait a minute, you can knock down lamps. Oh my god! This game's progressive. This game's secretly progressive. So then, wait a minute, wait a minute. What was to the left there? Hang on, I want to go back up. I want to go back up before I go down. Before I go down on you, I want to go back up. <laughs> Who would have ever guessed that knocking down lamps, that's the secret all along? That was the secret all along, knocking down lamp, lamps. Laps, lamps. Yeah, okay, that was an accident. Wait a minute, why does it say that's the wrong room? That's the wrong room, silly. All right, come here. So then can dropping those on enemies do damage? If they take damage from a uh, fire, I guess. I never went over here. Knocking down lamps and shooting. Knocking down lamps and shooting arrows into fire burns cobwebs and that is never explicitly explained it's just vaguely hinted at I I so you cannot drop off a ledge you cannot drop off a ledge and then jump um I gotta test that yep no you can't I think um 
That sucks. I think Llama Llama's like that way too. You can't you can't drop off a ledge. Never would I have guessed this game turned out to be uh, as involved or as good as it is. All right, come come here, you bat. No, it, it goes straight through him and straight through the floor. It's weird play testing. Just like the the smallest, most. Uh, I wouldn't say insignificant, but I mean the most minimal games, and then finding odd odd elements of depth to them. Depth, like you got a hair in your tongue. Like, look, he runs out. You see, you slash him up here. That's deep. It's deep gameplay. Hey, hey, come here. Shows up on a birthday card. You're making me batty. Oh, God. I'm so intrigued by the fact that shooting uh, arrows at the lanterns or at the f at the flame. Actually, that's true. Shooting, well, shooting arrows at a lantern. Set them on fire. No. No. No tombstone, no nothing. Walk forward, dude. I like all these hidden <laughs> these hidden low level uh alcoves that you can't go in. Second teleporter, huh? Okay. Second teleporter into the caves. Enough for an upgrade yet? I guess I should talk to him. Let's see if it's enough for an upgrade. 247. Probably short three, just like last time. I need more stones. You're a jackass, dude. Completely fucking worthless. Alright, into the caves. Ow! God damn it, fuck. Now I gotta climb my way out. I would speedrun this game. It's pretty fun. It's pretty, um... This would be the type of thing that I would do. Not that I know anything about it, but I don't know. Maybe I'll get into it. Maybe it's my new calling in life. Speed routing, sequence breaking, shit talking, level them up. Set some new world records on games that no one's ever touched before. Come up with some, um... High advanced level... Gaming tricks. Acrobatic! Get out of there, dude. Fuck. You need to be fighting. But the enemies, they don't drop health, so it's kind of worthless. He doesn't, uh... I was gonna say, shoot an arrow. He doesn't like the arrows. He doesn't, he doesn't, uh... Doesn't even tan, do so much as to tan his hide. That's not, um... Anywhere I can go. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. All right. Sharpen up the combat and um, perfect. Perfect. Burn the web. A new area has been unlocked. A new adventure has been born. Mystopia. This game needs a new area quick and a new um it needs a new area. But I you know how I know they're not going to do that because I've already unlocked two powers that allow me to traverse this this area. So this is the game, folks. Fuck. It's good. It's good, but it's not much.
But I mean, how much did you want for um? 99 cents. Would you rather play this? Would you rather spend 99 cents on this or 99 dollars on Battlefield? Alright, come down here. Damn it, that's worthless. That's worthless! Fuck. I wish there was some indication as to whether or not, um, you know, hinting at how good of an object. Oh, yeah, I have bows. Hinting at how good of an object these stupid vases hold. Because most of them are not worth going after. And then I'm waiting for a stupid snake to come out of one of them and bite me. Another teleport? I guess. It only teach, takes you to the uh, the last one you've been at, huh? I can jump all the way to the ceiling. This game is tight. You, you gonna you gonna hit him? You gonna reach him yet or what? Danger, huh? That's my middle name in between mice and topia. All right, a boss. What I've been saying that this should include the whole time. Do you want to hit him or what? Okay, I'm gonna die. Fuck. We'll pull the clutch out. Is he gonna turn around? I, I touched into him more often than he even hit me, dude. Give me that fucking boss fight again, man. Damn it! Fuck! Fuck! Whatever. I like to lower my health to do more damage. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on. This is too easy, come on. It's too easy, huh? It's too easy, huh? If I landed on that guy the first time and lost a heart, I would've done it perfectly. Watch this. Watch this. There's a guy down here. Double jump him. Watch this, watch this, watch this. You don't even know. Watch this. Watch. See? There's no splash damage. Now. Um, take him. There you go. Perfect. The dragon. Give me this and give me that. You too. You too. Hello, are you a villager too? Yeah, thanks for helping. I can walk you to the village? Well, I got three teleporters locked and loaded, baby. AstroTurf. No thank you, only big boy can get there on my own. By the way, come see me when you return to the villages. I'm going to teach you a cool trick. Uh, I, I have to go. There's a lot to do. You've been, in the, you've been in the caves the whole time. I have to go. There's a lot to do. You spent your whole day in the caves. Ev. You spent your whole day in the caves. Teach me the cool trick. Ready to learn a new trick? Yeah, I want to learn how to roll. But there's a problem. Aunt Rose, can you look for her? What? I guess so. I guess I'll look for her. <laughs> Talk to him! Did you notice anything weird in the caves? You mean all the creatures? The fact that there's a bunch of talking mice down there? Dragons that don't seem to bother anybody until you fight them? Everybody's shooting out emerald green kidney stones? Nah! Run of the mill. Typical day in the caves. I noticed that not all creatures have that green glow. Probably not all of them are infected with what? Kidney stones. I think there are caves. I think they are in the caves for a reason. Well, they're not in the caves. They're in the creatures that I'm killing. And in the um, the vases that I'm breaking. All right. What do you think? You managed to defeat this monster. It was a dragon. It wasn't a monster. It was a dragon. Uh, how to get in the caves. You have to keep looking for our village. Are we having the same conversation? Okay. <laughs> for good luck. What? Hi, Rich. I brought some stones. Well, let me see. I need more than 270 to upgrade. Thanks, asshole. Into the forest? No, still not the forest. I like that uh, background landscape. 
Um, well, I guess that's part two. Uh, uh, the caves. When I return, diving deep down into um, the perilous pit of the spider web. Burnt alive, but what lies in store for me? Stay tuned to see you next time. Mystopia. 99 cents PlayStation Store.